Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Training Tutorials. Today's tutorial, we will be going over our Task Manager and what it is and the different tabs in there. So let's first open our Task Manager. If we're on our desktop, you'll see our desktop icons here. If we're on our desktop, just hit on your keyboard Control, Alt, and then Delete, just one time. And right now it'll launch this window it'll launch this window here. It'll probably start you off in the applications first off, the applications tab. So this is the Windows Task Manager. And what the task manager is is it gives you just um, information of the current tasks that are running, the processes, the performance of memory, um, networking, um, and the logged in users on your computer. So in order for each tab, the first tab is the applications tab. Um, these are all the applications I currently have running on my computer. If I wanted to end an application, I would just select the application and hit end task. And it's gone. So that's pretty much that. Uh, the next tab is the processes. And these are the processes that are currently running on my system. A lot of these are important. They need to be running. Um, they are operating system related. But uh, you can see the username, which is me, of course, the username of the process that's running the actual process, and the memory usage, which is interesting because we want to know if, you know, what is a hog and what's taking up so much information. So if we go, um, say, this is uh, idle, but um, say, you know, we wanted to end Skype. It's running 65,000 kilobytes right now. Uh, we don't want Skype. We don't care for it to be running right now. It's a background process we don't really need to have running. So we can select Skype and or select the process you don't care for and you know it is a application that doesn't need to be running. Select it and hit end process. We'll be um, prompted here with a window, warning, yada yada yada. Just hit yes. Okay. Um, it should have left. I don't know why it's, I believe I still have mine running in the background, but that's how you basically end a, a process. I'm going on to the next tab is the performance tab. We can see how our computer is currently um, performing. Mine right now is going a little crazy. You should be idling. If your computer's at idle, you should be at about um, 1 to 10 percent at most. I mean, a, a healthy computer idles at about 2 to 4 percent. But right now, mine's going crazy. The CPU, uh, the central processing unit, is processing a lot of data um, currently because I'm running a, a recording um, cam and a couple other things are running. But that's why mine's so wacky. But um, you should be at idle, not doing anything with your computer from 2 to 10%. If you're not anywhere near that range and you're above it, um, it's suspected that something that you have just too many background services and startup programs that. Are running in the background you can't see and are taking up a lot of, um, um, of your computer's available resources. Uh, if you go down in the bottom you'll see the PF usage which is, stands for the page file usage. Um, we have one gigabyte right now and what the page file is is briefly uh, it, it's basically it's a way that your operating system stores and retrieves data from the memory so might not get too much into that, but that's what the page file is, and that's the uh, amount that's currently, I believe, being used. Um, you can see the totals here in the bottom, the number of processes that are running. Um, I'm just going over to the basics, uh, the system cache, the available amount, the total for physical memory, and so forth. You can get into that later on. But uh, briefly, that's, that's, that's the performance tab. Under networking, Probably not a lot going on in here. We can see that the local area connection is operational and it's running at 100 megabits per second. Wireless network connection um, is at 54 megabits per second. Normal LAN 2 is 30 megabits per second. The reason why this is not operational is for me, I've turned off my wireless. So if you're using your wireless, you'll be switched. I'm directly connected currently. So that's why mine's like that. If you go to the Users tab, um, you can see the users that are currently logged into the computer. In my case, it's a dummy user. It's the, the Dell 1405. I, I really didn't personalize this computer much. It's just for my uh, video session, my video tutorials. But um, you'll see if there's multiple users, if you're on a LAN, a local area network, and there's a 
maybe a peer-to-peer -peer work group set up and somebody logs into your computer system remotely or um, you know access files or something you'll see that that user is logged in and uh, if you don't like the person much you can click them and hit disconnect but uh, this is where you would the user management you can see who's logged into your computer so this is the Windows Task Manager um, not too much going on other than we can see the applications, the amount of processes running, the performance of our computer and um, the networking and available or logged in users. Uh, what I the reason I wanted to make this tutorial is I had some people ask me questions on you know how to end a task, you know a program won't start or a program won't close or it's it's frozen or something. This is when you would launch the Windows Task Manager. You would go to Applications, you would find the frozen program, and hit End Task. So uh, that's why I wanted to you know, give you guys a quick tutorial on the um, Windows Task Manager. If you all have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. You can contact me on YouTube or follow me on Twitter. That's at ITConflict. The website is www.itconflict.com. Once again, this is Eric. And thanks for watching.